Hi there, I'm Donnie, and today I want to talk about a challenge that I think every civil 3D user has encountered at one point or another, and that basic issue being, of course, why do good civil 3D projects slow down so horribly by the end? And if we do a Google search about this, there's absolutely no lack of potential recommendations of how to address this particular issue. However, in my experience, I find many of them really only address sort of the symptoms of the performance issues, not the underlying root cause. So what do I mean by that? Well, in my experience and following and going down that path myself, I find that most of the recommendations I've found on the internet talk about enable this feature or disable this other feature or change this system variable or tweak this drawing variable. And while I can absolutely concede from firsthand experience that some of those do in fact introduce some incremental performance gains to my project, my projects so often have remained just as slow as when I started. So it really kind of poses this question of what gives. Now, the underlying reason for this is frankly kind of an inconvenient one and in my experience rests with the way I structured my project from the very, very beginning. So it does make it very difficult to correct later in the project uh, itself. But to really begin understanding this, we need to first understand the way that AutoCAD regenerates a drawing. So in AutoCAD, it's going to regenerate every object times the number of views. Now, there are absolutely some things that Autodesk does to sort of optimize it. So it's not a one-to-one -one comparison, but for the sake of discussion today, let's assume that if I have a piece of text in my drawing, it's going to regenerate it for model space plus every viewport in that drawing. So I have four viewports in that drawing or four layout tabs plus model space. That piece of text is being regenerated five times. Now, if I add Civil 3D on top of that and instead of using the humble old text command, I use the spot shot label command inside of Civil 3D. Well, that particular object is of course associated with the surface. So in order to display that, AutoCAD or, or Civil 3D more specifically is not only going to regenerate the graphics so that the text appears in every view of my drawing, it also has to calculate to make sure that that text matches up with the underlying elevation of the surface, making sure that they are indeed in sync. So whereas for a regular old AutoCAD object, it's really just one operation that I have to complete in Civil 3D, it's not just the graphics that I have to complete, it's also the underlying sort of mathematical calculations that make, in this case, the label itself work. Now that by itself isn't that big of a deal, but what we tend to do, in my experience, is overuse XREFs. I'm certainly not proposing that we stop using XREFs. In fact, I use them on every project I work with as well, but I have developed a newfound respect for them. What I mean by that is when I X-reference a Civil 3D drawing, Civil 3D has to regenerate not only the graphics of that drawing, but the underlying Civil 3D objects as well. And so where I find myself getting in trouble so often is with things like my grading drawing that's gonna get referenced all over the place, right? I'm gonna have it referenced, let's say, into the drainage drawing. All I really care about is my finished grade surface, but if I sort of peel back the curtain of that particular grading drawing, I find inside of it, of course, the sort of constructor surface, I'll call it, being my pond, another surface for the parking lot, another built from the corridor for the access road, and I, of course, paste all of those together into my finished grade surface. The trouble with XREFs is when I X-reference that drawing, I have not only the finished grade surface that I see, but also those three constructor surfaces underneath. So in the case of, let's say, a drawing with four viewports plus model space, that's five views times four surfaces, essentially. That really has an effective weight of about 20 different surfaces. Again, it's not a one-for-one -one comparison. There are some things that Autodesk does to sort of optimize things in the background, but in essence, that's what AutoCAD is doing. So how do I address this and how does project structure really fit into the mix here? Well, what I find helps me so much in kind of maintaining the performance of my civil 3D projects is to really designate three different types of files. Specifically, I will have a model drawing type, a reference drawing type, and a plotting or a sheet 
drawing type. And what I do here, again, using that grading example here, is I'll do all of this sort of assembly of my finished grade surface inside of that grading model drawing. So I'll have my parking lot, my road, my pond, and I'll paste all of those together inside of my finished grade surface. But what I'm not going to do is x-reference that model drawing into any other drawing. If I want to x-reference components of that drawing, what I'm going to do is use data shortcuts to create what I like to refer to as a reference drawing. So I'll data shortcut out the finished grade surface into its own grading reference file. And if I want to x-reference the finished grade surface across my project, it's that drawing with just one surface inside of it that I'm going to reference throughout my project. And the benefit of this is, although XREFs don't allow me the ability to sort of designate what gets regenerated and what does not, aside from maybe freezing or using a no display style on a surface, by using this sort of data shortcut strategy, I'm basically making it so that uh, AutoCAD or Civil 3D doesn't have to regenerate those constructor surfaces. It just needs to focus on the finished grade surface, thereby, of course, giving me significant performance gains. Now again, this is one of those things that it starts with the way that you set up your project and so I can't emphasize the importance enough of involving a CAD manager or somebody that's going to sort of oversee the data of your project to be involved in those project kickoff meetings and really be involved throughout the entire project to make sure pieces are being assembled in the appropriate way. Because frankly, by the time you get to the point of Google searching, why is my civil 3D drawing too slow? It's usually too late to really address the data structure issues and we're really only left with the sort of symptom-based solutions of adjust this drawing setting or this software configuration and so forth. Of course, here at CAD Microsystems, we can help you with developing a data strategy that matches sort of the scale of your projects and what makes sense. It doesn't always make sense to break things down, but so much, but we can of course help you in that as well. For CAD Microsystems, I'm Donnie Gladfelter. Thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon.